Welcome to Sheet Director. We're excited to introduce our innovative Google Workspace add-on. Simplify data exchange between apps with Sheet Director, query data, post info from Sheets to apps, and keep everything in sync. In this video, we will see how Sheet Director can help you to automate the integration between Google Sheets and Notion. Let's launch Sheet Director and choose Notion from the available list of applications. Now we need to authorize the application. For that, I will create a new connection here. Here you will see two methods to authorize. You can choose either OAuth2 or the internal integration token method. Here I will select the OAuth2 method and click on the connect to Notion button. Again, click on the select pages button, select pages and click on the allow access button. Now your authentication is completed successfully. Now go back to the application page. I will name the service as Notion Query Service. I'll then choose the service named Query, which gets the data of selected objects from Notion. I'll choose the page object and then select the required fields from the fields list. Additionally, I'll also set the max results to 25, limiting the page data to 25. For the destination settings, I'll select the Query Notion Page Sheet tab to present all the values from the Notion. By default, it begins from cell A1. Also, we have the option to create a new sheet by clicking on the plus icon. And turn on or off the Include Header and Clear Sheet before getting the Notion page records. I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Upon successful execution, we can see that the selected fields from the list are effectively brought from the notion and seamlessly presented within the selected sheet. Now, let's look at how to create a page in the notion from Google Sheets. Now, let's make another service and name the Notion Post Service for creating the page from the sheet. I will choose the Post Service. Then, I will select a page entity from the list and I also select the database in which I am going to create the page. As the Notion has a dynamic schema, the template is not supported for posting data into Notion. Here we have the option to select the source sheet. Select the sheet that has the data that you want to post into Notion. Here I will select the Notion Data Sheet tab, which I want to post into Notion. As mapping is supported, mapping aligns the fields between the source sheet and the Notion. So now it is asking for intelligent mapping. For now, I will choose No and map the fields manually. This mapping guides us on where to place the resulting information in the status and result columns. In the sheet, you'll notice columns labeled status and result. These fields will provide you with the status of the posted records. If these fields are not there, these can be easily created by clicking on the plus button or choosing from the column dropdown. The mapping aligns the fields between the sheet and the notion. We can manually map by using the column dropdown. Deleting a field mapping is as easy as clicking the delete icon above each mapped field, except for mandatory fields. Now, I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Initially, the status in the status column will indicate ready to post. Upon execution, the execution control panel will appear and tell us how many records are ready to post in the notion. At this point, we have two options, post now and close. I will click on Post Now, which will create the pages in Notion. After successful execution, each record will be updated individually in the Status and Result columns. 
and we can see all the posted records in Notion. Let's prepare a new service named Notion Sync Service. This synchronizes the pages between Google Sheets and Notion. I'll choose Synchronize as a service type. The Synchronize service allows users to automatically synchronize the data between Google Sheets and Notion. I'll choose the page object from the list and also select database value. And then select the necessary fields from the provided fields list. To ensure efficiency, I'll set the max results to 25, restricting to only 25 Notion pages. The synchronization process requires the synchronized keys to match rows in Google Sheets with corresponding data in Notion. You must select the synchronized keys in the fields list. It is essential to note that these keys are mandatory for the synchronization to occur. When there is a conflict between different data in Google Sheets and Notion for the same data, either side needs to be overwritten to maintain synchronization. You can opt for either Notion Wins or Google Sheet Wins to choose which data to keep. In the Notion Wins scenario, the most recent data from Notion will overwrite and update the corresponding page in Google Sheets. On the other hand in the Google Sheet Wins, the most recent data from Google Sheets will overwrite and update the corresponding data in Notion. First, let me choose Google Sheet Wins. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will opt for the Sync Notion Pages Sheet tab, and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the service, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. The Execution Control Panel will appear. If no records are found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the Sheet Director will get the Notion pages for us. A prompt will appear, posing the question, your Google Sheet seems to be empty. Do you want to get the records from Notion first? At this point, two options will be presented, Get Now or Close. You have to select the Get Now option, which will fetch the pages from Notion. As mapping is supported at Sync Service, mapping aligns the fields between the synchronization sheet and the Notion. So now it is asking for intelligent mapping. For now, I will choose No and map all the fields manually. We can manually map by using the column drop-down. To create a new mapping, you can simply click on the plus icon and select field. If you already have Notion data in Google Sheets, then you need to select or establish columns to display synchronization status and results. By clicking the plus symbol, I will add the status and result columns to the sheet and make any necessary updates to update the pages. For some of the pages, I will update the name and tag value. You can see the current page name and tag value in Notion. Subsequently, I will click the Execute button. Upon successful execution, the Execution Control Panel will reappear with synchronization details. Number of new records found in Notion. Total records that are ready to synchronize from the Google Sheet. How many records will be updated in the Notion from the total records? Additionally, I will be asked, are you okay to synchronize? This query is accompanied by two buttons, Sync Now and Close. I will opt for the Sync Now button. Throughout the execution process, each record will be updated individually within the Notion. Upon successful update, the status column in Google Sheets will depict the status of the data. Newly updated data will be marked as synced successfully, while pre-existing data will be indicated as already synchronized. We can see the updated page on Notion.
Now, let me choose Notion Wins. With the Notion Wins option, recent data of Notion will be updated in Google Sheets. I will clear both the status and result column values to get new updates of records. To test this, I will change the tag value and name of one of the page here. Now it should update the recent value from the Notion. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will keep the same Sync Notion Pages Sheet tab, and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the settings, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. After executing, the Execution Control Panel will appear and show all the information regarding the update. Subsequently, I will click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. Throughout the successful execution process, each record will be updated individually. We can notice that the value on Google Sheets is replaced by the recent values from Notion irrespective of the update made on the Google Sheets. Also, the new Notion page data will be fetched from the Notion if we add new pages to Notion. Until this point, we observed the synchronization of the Notion page originating from cell A1. Now, let's modify the cell value to be 5. Select another empty sheet for testing and proceed with the synchronization process. If no records are found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the sheet director will get the page data for us. I will click the Get Now button to get the Notion pages. If you already have Notion page data in Google Sheets, then you need to establish the status and result column for synchronization and continue the execution. Upon successful execution, the execution control panel will reappear with the synchronization details. I will click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. After successful synchronization, you can see the status of each record individually in the Google Sheets. In this way, you can synchronize data from any part of your Google Sheets. Hence, utilizing Sheet Director makes it easy to query Notion page information and display it in Google Sheets. Creating a new Notion page from Google Sheets, and finally keeping the information synchronized between the Google Sheets and Notion page. With Sheet Director, you effortlessly harness the magic of Notion page data. Seamlessly query, display, and transform your Notion page data right within Google Sheets. Experience the future of organization and data synergy with the Sheet Director. Thanks for watching the video.